Tammy. Wait, I usually do that part. <laughs> yeah, don't confuse me. Okay, keep going. Hey y'all, it's Tammy. And Amy. Are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episode? Make sure you're all caught up on the new season of 1,000 Pound Sisters. So we're making picture frames. Frame some of the memories we have and hopefully make some new memories. Of course we'll make new memories. Yeah, we ain't dead yet. I'm done with this bitch. <gasps> Tammy, you finally broke out of rehab in this episode. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Oh no, this queen. You ass I want to thank each and every one of y'all for helping me get this far. I love y'all. And thank you so much. What was your most excited about leaving behind? Like, was there something that you just really don't care for? The food. What kind of photos you got? I'll let you flip through. Up. Never mind, I can't pick them up. Oh, there we go. Aw. I love my boys. You have to do this one. Yeah. I'm going to do this one. What is Chris looking like? He looking. I don't know. Chris is weird. <laughs> he looks constipated. <laughs> but trying to smile at the same time. In this episode, what y'all didn't see was Chris and Caleb teamed up and managed to get my stuff all out into the vehicle. I want to know how the hell accumulate so much stuff. She likes to shop. <laughs> now, my question is, how are we going to tie you up to this cart so you can pull the cart down the road so I don't have to work so hard? We got a leather belt right here. Hey, there we go. Come here. I'm going to tie you down the road. I might just have to guide it. Now, I pull her all the time, so this shouldn't be nothing. Oh, that's some redneck engine material right there, man. There we go. All right, give her a little push, see how she goes, man. Okay, hold it, I gotta pull my pants up. Oh, man, damn. I got it. That's all we dropped, we're doing good. Can you back it up, man? All right, do you want better? Well, if you want to swing her around like that, go ahead. Look at that. Chris called it a redneck U-Haul. I'm like, why didn't Chris just push the car? <laughs> Because this is Chris we're talking yeah. about. Wow, you were getting released. I made some moves of my own. I asked Missy to come over and, and help me put up a shelf, right? Huh? I should have asked Michael. It would have been done faster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about this crap. Sometimes I just want to like... Sometimes I forget how to do this. You got to find a stud. There's a stud. Look at that. It's handsome. It's cute. Leave it alone. Putting holes in the wall. It's my wall! I'm sure going to want you do it. It's going to get remodeled eventually anyway. But you want it to be sturdy enough to hold your crap up there. If you don't put it in a stud, it's just going to fall back down when you put something on it. It feels good just to have a place to call myself. Like, it's my own little corner in my own little house. I know how you feel. Damn, you like decorating. I'm still trying to figure out how to paint it. Well, I mean, I'm painting it, but... Well, I mostly like to craft my decorations. When I do arts and crafts, it gets me out of my head. It makes me focus on one thing instead of a bunch of different stuff all at one time. So I kind of lose what's going on around me and start doing what's in front of me type deal. Look, I found your diet soda. Oh, look, I got it soda. That's and, a regular soda. Yeah, okay. I don't have a diet soda. But I got a baby bottle. That's for Glenn. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Ever since my surgery, this is about the portion size I've been able to eat. What do you think of my friend? <laughs> 91 of you. I got one. And something else in the other corner. We chose Glenn as the koala bear. He has a baby bottle because he is a baby. One of his favorite foods is french fries. So that's why we got that. Gage, his nickname is Chunky Monkey, so he gets a monkey. And then milk. 
because he don't drink sodas. And then I got a bear, because I'm a mama bear, a soda, and fried rice. I think that's fried rice. Leave it to me to use toys as artwork. <laughs> so now it's time for the big reveal. Thank you. I think you did a great job representing your children, yourself, and you. And I think mine kind of does okay with representing me and Chris. Because I enjoy orange sodas also, and my savories and my sweets. And so does Chris, but I give him coffee because he don't really drink he'd rather, sodas. Yeah, he'd rather have a coffee. And I use the butterflies because for me, butterflies are free. They fly. And they're free to do whatever they want. And when I'm in a vehicle like this, that's when I feel free, like a butterfly. I really had fun making these. I miss the bonding time with you, and I miss, like, crafting in general. Thank y'all for watching, and keep watching 1,000 Pound Sisters on TLC. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Grab a soda. Now let's cheers and cheers to the audience. All right. Clink, cheers. Hey, y'all, it's Amy. And Sammy. Are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episode? Make sure you're all caught up with the new season of 1,000 Pound Sisters on TLC. Today we're making healthy pizzas. We have cauliflower crusts, sugar-free pizza sauce, Dairy-free cheese. Mm -hmm. That you about spilled. I almost spilled my cheese. Vegan pepperonis. Ooh, and I about dropped the sausage. <laughs> Swapping out some of the ingredients for healthier options, you can still eat junk food. This is pizza, but it's a healthy pizza. Healthy junk food. So you're still getting the same satisfaction from my like regular pizza, but healthy. At first, it takes you back because there is no sugar. But then once the, the like fully develops in your taste buds, it's pretty good. Did you try one of these? Yeah. This don't even look like a real pepperoni. Tastes like bologna. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> So in this week's episode, Tammy gets to shop for her new house. She's gonna go buy some groceries. Chris sees this tiny little kid's cart. Yeah. And told me since I was short, I needed to use it. So he made me <laughs> use the daggone thing and rode me around in my wheelchair. You got to push your grocery cart. <laughs> what the heck? You better grab a hold of it. That's your thing, girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> You can't fit much in that little car. You're right. And I didn't, but I filled it to the brim. <laughs> so I just cut up all that stuff and I'm gonna try it. It's kind of sweet. I think you should try it. And if you like it, I can cut you up some. Yeah, go ahead and cut me up some, please. You want like that or you want like this? Like that. You want me to smack Amy? Cool. No! Don't smack me. What Don't are? smack me. I'm allergic. <laughs> you know how back in old days, everybody used to cook with tubs of lard? <laughs> Man, that story had big old buggy. Oh my God, Timmy, they got us some. Hey, that's me. Yeah, they bucketed us. That's half of me. Man, where can the hell can we get a patent on that? That's a tub of lard. That's what we used to be. I mean, we still kind of are. You know what? You can kiss my ass. Yeah, it's kind of like this is what we used to be, and this is what we are now. <laughs> That's about the best one to say it. I go from a five-gallon bucket to a gallon. <laughs> there was, was a like, tub of lard? Yes, it was like a five-gallon bucket. Damn. Honestly. There was three different sizes, too, dude. I mean, we were acting a full. <laughs> I made it funny and I said it was you, Michael, and <laughs> Wow. I don't know what was funny, or us laughing at each other, or me pushing the cart. 
I'm gonna put your pizza over here and I'll spread it on there. And what you want me to do? What? My specific. <laughs> you want it kind of sprinkled everywhere. Yeah. Tim. What? You know what that housewarming? Yeah. And we were doing the charcuterie boards. Oh, How many damn pickles do you need lately? A lot. There was like 20 different kinds of pickles. Shut up, it's my snack. <laughs> What's a coochie board? A coochie board? It's just basically a little bit of everything, like cheese, some uh, you know, proteins, and you put some grapes. I think it needs another color in it, though. Maybe some pickles. Watch me get pickle juice off. But see, pickles are like a healthy snack. Yeah, they're, they're no That's why calories. I got them. Exactly. Size don't matter when it's no calorie. Portion control be damned. <laughs> what kind of pickles do you like? I mean, like, like, do you prefer the big, huge ones or the <laughs> little bitty slices? Depends on my mood, I guess. Yeah, some days I feel like bread and butter. Some days I feel like No, dude. I don't typically go for the bread and butter. I only pretty much like the deal. What woman don't like a big deal? Facts. <laughs> Last time I checked in with Dr. Proctor, he asked me to quit eating dairy so much. I could have this cheese all I want because it's dairy free. Right. So there are a way around to eating stuff that the doctor don't want you to eat. It might not work for everything, but some stuff, it works. What kind of food a vegan never make you give up? Real cheese. <laughs> Why? You can use vegan cheese. I don't know. I just know some things about vegan. Like, I can tell you some things, but I don't know the full requirements. We preheated the oven to 450. We're going to leave it in there 7 to 10 minutes because that's recommended for a gra oh, graham cracker crust. Cauliflower, cauliflower crust. Pizza. Sorry. <laughs> Tell me, what did you do after the party? I cleaned up, took my medicine, and went to bed. What was I supposed to do? I don't know, I was just asking if anybody stayed late. I could have called and cussed your ass out. My family always coming over to eat, but y'all never leave the earth stay to clean up. I think mine looks good enough. I think mine looks good. But... <laughs> I mean, it, it does look good. I have to cut stuff because Amy can't. She, I don't trust her. She'll cut her dag on self and probably me I'm too. I'm surprised I ain't got to cut just looking at the damn knife. <laughs> this cheese does not melt like a normal cheese. It don't melt fully. Tammy, you got your slice? Um, kind of. Cheers. It's hot. I know. <laughs> just came out of it. I know. No okay. Cheers. 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 Her. Everything's good but the crust. What's the crust taste like? Uh, you know how you make yeast? Yeah. The yeast of? Well, that didn't rise. It's all right. I mean, it's not my favorite, but... I actually like that cheese a lot. I do like that cheese. That cheese is really good. Amy's one of the pickiest people I know to eat. <laughs> if she's eating this, then it must be good. That's saying something. We hope y'all enjoyed watching us try to make <laughs> some kind of pizza. Look, Mom, I can cook something. Well, we hope y'all enjoyed these behind the scenes look at the latest episode. Thank you guys for watching and keep watching 1,000 Pound Sisters on TLC. Hey y'all, it's Sammy. And it's Chris. Are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episode? Make sure y'all caught up in the new season of 1,000 Pound Sisters. Today we're blind taste testing baby food to see which one we like. I don't know what you're thinking about this, but you already uh, tried this, Tammy? All right, we don't know what this is. We better have to try it, though. Oh, that's bananas. 
Can I taste no, it? No, you should have tried it. I wanted to mix it up. That's what I think it is, is bananas. Yeah, see, that was pretty good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You lied. <laughs> oh, it says bananas. So I was right on that one. Well, you are bananas, so fitting for you to get you. That's okay. <laughs> In this episode, we go to the gym and we wear trash bags. Well, everybody gets swamp ass when you wear a trash bag. And if you need to know what that is, is when you put that trash bag on and start working out, you begin to sweat in places that you didn't know you could. Look at... <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Y'all my... Like dumb as hell. Oh, and you don't? <laughs> we about to sweat through the oldies. Who's sweating to the oldies? We are. Y'all just old and I'm sweating. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get started in three, two, one, start. Tammy, great job, great job. Keep that core nice and tight. Good. Feel that burn in the arms already? I kind of felt like we was getting ready to do the trash bag runway. I'm just asking. The ghetto as far fabulous. As fit me. Well, at your highest weight, it would have been harder to find a trash bag to fit you. <laughs> just having everybody there working out and enjoying each other and pushing each other on, that is a big win for us. I even participated. And everybody participated with no fights, so we did wonderful. Are you ready to try number two? But this I, time, wait for me to taste it before I hear you, you. I hear you. Look, I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> but this don't look too healthy. It looks like look, doo doo. It looks like some baby poo for real. Mm. You wanna cheer on this one? That way we can do it at the same time. Sweet potato? Mm. Green bean? Mm mm. That's like sweet potatoes. I don't know. Not too good. We were both wrong. <laughs> Beef and vegetable, huh? No wonder why the kids won't eat it. It don't even taste like it's supposed to. Mm. Shall we try number three, Tammy? I got an idea what it is. I would say it's squash, like some kind of butternut squash. Yeah. If I'm guessing these off the top, I'm fat as hell. <laughs> I mean, I should get half of credit for that when I said squash. You can have it. I don't care. What you didn't see in this episode was Amy moving all her stuff into my house. I'm going into a panic attack just looking at how many pieces there are on this damn thing. Yeah, this is gonna take maybe an hour. You build it, I make the bed. <laughs> Hopefully it don't fall down. <laughs> the good thing about the kids moving in and Amy moving in is you're not gonna have a spare moment to think about nothing. It's gonna keep you busy, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, yes. I know it gets overwhelming having the kids there at times, but it's a blessing in itself, too, because you get to make up lost time with them and you get to build a, a stronger bond with them yeah, while they're there... little. Yeah, two left. I know. This truly looks like poo. <laughs> that ain't poo, huh? That's diarrhea. That's peas. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's peas, but... Ugh. <laughs> what is it? Where is it? I guess the chicken. That's the texture of it. The chicken. The, the greediness. What are we doing to these children? That's horrible. Here's an exclusive clip where Chris and Amy make slime. That was the once and only time you will see this fat man messing with the slime situation ever again. <laughs> Hey, sis. Hey, Chris. Hi, Riz. I don't know how this is going to work out very good. 
Ew, it looks like mayonnaise. Well, that stuff don't come out very much. Right. I'm gonna use my weight, my child rearing hips. Can you go? Can you whip it up? Can you whip it? Yeah. yeah okay, we whip it, buddy. I don't think this is one of our smarter ideas. No, I think Gage's outfit's ruined. And your backyard ruined. That was the biggest mess to clean up. You know, back in the day when I was a kid, mud between the toes was cool. I am 40 now. Slime between my toes is... I'm still traumatized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is not cool. I have a texture thing. I don't like to feel slime. What you really didn't see was Brittany having a high speed come apart when five people come in the house covered in slime and tracking it everywhere. You better make sure you get these kids cleaned up before they come inside. Including me. Uh, including me. Nobody's allowed in looking like that. It's sticking to me. I know, baby. Come here. It was not one of my greater ideas. Don't touch the wall. Come on, I can't. Why are you making a mess? Well, I realized the ass chewing I was about to receive, and Amy didn't even think about that when she started this escapade. But at well, the end of the day, was it a good day? Did you have fun? It give, you know, I'm sure it helped Amy because she needed a lighter moment at that moment. I'm sure, yes. But was it worth the butt chewing I received from my wife for messing up the house. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the start. How about that? <laughs> uh, we got one more to try, but so far, I wouldn't pick any of these to eat. That smells like potted meat. I would guess chicken. Some kind of chicken or turkey. It's meat for sure. It oh. says ham and gravy. Oh. But all you can really taste is salt. <laughs> well, that one was not very pleasant. Never again. The bananas would probably be my favorite. The butternut squash, the next best. In the middle, we have the chicken and the peas, and the beef and the vegetable next. And then we got the ham and the gravy. How would you do your baby food? Well, I rate mine a little bit the same, but a little bit opposite. I don't care for squash, so I'll put mine third. And I put the chicken and the peas in second. Thank you guys for joining us on this disgusting blind taste test the baby food. <laughs> I, I'll second that. Yeah, that's pretty rough. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And keep watching 1,000 Pound Sisters. On TLC. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm Terry. And I'm Chris. Are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episodes? Make sure you're all caught up. On the new season of 1,000 Pound Sisters. Y'all, today, we gonna show y'all how to make sushi at home. Redneck sushi. You can find these ingredients in any country pantry. You have seaweed in your pantry. Well, you know, everybody's gotta have their own thing. Ever since I had my surgery, I went craving seafood. So in this episode, I tried to take Amy and the boys out to have some sushi. All right, ladies. I wanna start him off with the chicken shampoo meal. And then we'll get the quail eggs okay. and the tofu sit. skin. Sit, sit, sit. Ah. Sit, sit, sit. I think we want to try the, the boat. You got the boat? One of the things I did get Amy to try was a quail egg. How'd that go down? Not very well. We both threw up. Ready. The 
quail egg is the worst thing that has ever been in my mouth. And that's saying a lot. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want no part of that. They served it to us in a martini glass. And usually it was like a shot. I was shocked that Amy kind of just went on and swallowed the whole thing. You're braver than I am. I wouldn't have tried it. I wish I didn't try it. <laughs> the only one I know I like is the, the shrimp tempura one. Mm -hmm. And I like the California roll. All the rest of them, I don't know too much about. I go with what I know. It's got to be at least 160 degrees. It's got to be cooked. <laughs> We're gonna mix up some sushi rice. And it's really easy, because all you gotta do is add some rice vinegar and sugar to your sticky rice. It's busy stirring. <laughs> <laughs> that vinegar's a little strong today. All right, here's your pack of tuna. You got your bow over there. Mm -hmm. We got sriracha and soy sauce and Miracle Whip, more salad dressing and wasabi. You know, the good thing about using tuna is, is you don't gotta mess with a whole fish or anything raw, it's already cooked. And you can make your sushi roll with just your normal household canned tuna. What are you putting on yours? I'm gonna put a dot of swap subby. I'm not able to handle the spice like Tammy is, and she done put only sriracha in hers, so. I couldn't eat hers if I wanted to, because it'd be too spicy for me. In this episode, Amy offers to push my chair, and she about sent me flying. You gotta think about these bricks! Amy! Fudge! You can't cut through here! Okay. Now there's people watching, because people don't care. Amy wasn't really paying attention to me. There was a lot going on, traffic, whatever. And there was a bunch of brakes in the road. And I was trying to tell her, Amy, stop so I could walk across it. She wasn't listening, and I about flipped. Well, when it comes to getting Tammy where she needs to go, you call an expert like me. Not everybody can be as good a driver as Chris. I tip him with a middle finger. <laughs> it's that sisterly love right there. If Amy is that bad driving a wheelchair, how the heck do you think she's gonna do in the road? That's why they didn't give her no license. Good boy. Well, speaking of getting a little reckless, Amy and I decided to hit a rage room while you all were gone. Ready? One, two, three. I've always wanted to do that. Goodbye, demons! Hit the computer. Michael. Play your damn video games. Damn, you got box anger. Ow! You hit me. I'm sorry. Why are you paying money to break Hell, you can come to my house. I'll set s up for free. Well, I didn't know that, and you were gone out of town, so I improvised. Yeah, were y'all in the same room together? Yeah. Oh, it's one of the gin burn that place down. No, nothing was plugged in. <laughs> I guess it's time to cut up this cucumber and avocado. How you doing over here? No, it's nice. Thick, thick, but it'll be all right. What you didn't see in this episode was the welcome that was waiting when I hauled Amanda and Misty home. Oh! Can I have it? Well, it's about time. Oh my well, who's that in that car? My sweetheart. We ain't gonna reuse it. Let me pick him up and let me see him. Since Amy and I are pros from surgery now, we put Meg and Misty at care about to get together. Okay, monkey, stay away from that fire, baby. Yeah, I made you something. We done set y'all up a little something, something. Thank you. It's a, it's a care package basket. Oh, well, y'all didn't have to do this. Thank you. What the hell was my care basket when I had my surgery? I was busy. Uh, <laughs> we have our sushi rice, our tuna, and our veggies. 
I have road sushi, but it's been a while. So you want to try to get this going? I guess so. I have never rolled sushi. The big thing is, is just make it roll like a burrito. Which side do you put down first? Is it the textured side or is it the... I always put the textured side on the inside. What and I then you it. just put your rice, yeah. a little bit of rice, and whatever vegetables and your protein in it, and you wrap it up the best you can. I know why you put so much rice in yours is all that sriracha is gonna be burning your booty hole. <laughs> Like a cigar? I've never rolled a cigar. Now don't roll your plastic up in it. Just mm -hmm. roll that. There you go. Hot damn, it's a fatty. But it looks good. My first one. All right. You're gonna... <laughs> Mine's walking down the plate, but it's there. That's my redneck sushi. They got some unique personality. <laughs> Hope they taste better than they look. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> you gonna dip yours in soy sauce? No, you gonna mm. go right in. Enough wasabi to clear your nose. Mm -hmm. They're good. They really are good. I think y'all try one of mine. I don't think so. Why? Because. Scared. I mean, you're welcome to try mine, but I got, I'm got i scared to try I yours. I promise you, I did not put much on it. I even went back and put wasabi in it. Oh, it's no. still not that spicy because I, I spooned it out. Okay, Tammy, but your spicy and my spicy are two different things. Well, I guess that concludes our redneck sushi experience. <laughs> And that's how you make redneck sushi. You heard it here, folks. We hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look of the latest episode. Thank you for watching and keep watching A Thousand Pound Sisters on TLC. Hey y'all, it's Amy. And Tammy. Are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episode? And make sure you're all caught up in the new season of One Thousand Pound Sisters. Since my garlic candle smelled so good, we are gonna do a blind smell thingy. Blind reaction? Blind reaction. Since Tabby's nose is functitated. No, I didn't know this, but apparently the trick when you have it, sometimes you lose your ability to smell. When y'all start farting, having no smell is a lifesaver. I wish I had no smell when you fart. <laughs> Amy. Since I can't smell, you're going to get the honor of wearing the kindergarten face mask. Well, it's going to be really mean to say I don't get the point of you wearing a face mask. I'm blind enough. Yeah. You yes. ready to do some sniffing? Ready? Mm. <laughs> 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 Bitch, you went all in. I like soy sauce. What? You smell turkey. turkey. <laughs> what is it? Turkey. That's turkey. Look at it. I got a bad sniffer, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see. This one. I ain't gonna get none of these right. <laughs> I wish I could feel this What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what does it smell like? Like a cleaner product. What cleaning product? <laughs> Did you drink it? <laughs> is it toxic? No. Okay. Look. Oh, okay. I told you it smelled clean. <laughs> <laughs> In this episode, I took Terry to the gynecologist. Don't worry, I'm not pregnant again. What brings you here today? I want to see if I can conceive. Okay. I want to make sure everything's healthy down there. I had a IUD put in. Oh, you did? When was that? Oh, it needed to be taken out in 2016. 
Are you married? Okay. Are you sexually active right now? No, okay. <laughs> okay, why is that? You just don't want to? Or he can't? Sometimes men can't. Oh, well, he's in a different state. Oh, well, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> if someone lives in a different yeah. state, it's really hard to get together and have sex. So, yeah, I get that. It was a little nervous going to the guy on, because I haven't been in a long time. So, knowing you were going with me was comforting. But you're going for back on. Well, don't take a big deep breath to that one. Oh, <laughs> just do it. Just do it. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, just do it. I don't like it. You don't know what it is? Oh, my bad. <laughs> I don't like it. You don't know what it is? I can tell I don't like it. You eat it all the time. Is it hot sauce? Yeah. No, Amy, it's not hot sauce. I was being sarcastic. It's mustard. Oh, I don't eat mustard. In this episode, what y'all didn't see was our trip to our favorite boutique. Am I your retail therapist? No. The cashier is. Oh, shoot. And the prescription is my debit card. I think there's a look here. I think, I think you should come. Who? Oh, Jill. Which one? Oh. This? That dress. That dress. I right was there. about to try that one on because it has a little top. Uh, with the hat. With the with hat. The yes, hat. with the oh, hat. Or there's another hat I've over never there worn that a matches hat. too. Lord, I don't know about a hat. It does it's clash. <laughs> yeah, it don't go good with the blue. Wait, if you guys want to match, I do have a matching cute. hat. I'm good. I love that. <laughs> I go with the clothes, but I'm good with that. Why'd you hit my head like that? Me and Jill can match well, you go ahead. Hey, we'll match She hats. can be it's your okay. sister for a day, do you? Hey, take her away. Hey, hey. You can barely see you in those clothes right here. They were so damn short. You used to be taller than me. What the heck happened? I just I'm see. going to. Okay. This awful stretchy mm -hmm. chair. Yeah. Damn, tell me you're the honey that shrunk the keys. You know, I don't know what it was. I know what it was. I lost oh. weight in my feet. That made you shorter? Yeah. The inch of fat was sitting on. <laughs> Hey, where's the morning? <laughs> Are you feeling brave enough to try some more smells? Mm. You're gonna love this one, Amy. I'm gonna hate you. I swear to God, you're gonna love this one. This is gonna you. be your favorite one out of all of them. I hate you. What? <laughs> Just smell it. That's garlic. <laughs> In this episode, Chris got some chickens. Chicken girl. What's like he the do? Like the bacot kind. The what? <laughs> the bacot. I thought we were doing chickens. That's a damn rabbit house. What do you expect? You know, you order something expecting it to be real big. They give you dimensions. Well, you know, I didn't read And I had to have something cute, because Brittany would bitch if it's a big, ugly thing in the backyard. Don't worry, I'll add on to it later. Come here, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. No. Ah! Fuck! I can't walk! What the hell possessed Chris to get some chickens? He thinking he's grandpa. How long do you think these chickens are going to last at Chris's? Long enough to make a couple batches of eggs. <laughs> you got a big yard. You want some chickens? Hell no. Yeah. Only chicken I want is already cut up and put in my freezer. All right, bitch. Put this bomb back on. It's not calling this torture. <laughs> you put that bomb back on. My stomach's on. nauseous. You'll be all right. Last two better be the best two because I can't stand no more nasty stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like it. <laughs> oh, it's like a spearmint or a mint. 
Extra. Some type of extra. Yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> it's meant yes. for spearmint. No, it's not. Oh, it's just mint? No, it's not. There's other extracts. <laughs> it's almond extract. Oh. I never smelled an almond extract, so I didn't know what it smelled like. Ooh. Is that a hit? Amy? Huh? We had one more, but it kind of ate through the bottom. So. And you think it's safe enough to put it through, through my nose? I didn't know. It's tea tree. And it ate through the bottle. Oh my God. That is so strong, I can even smell it. it smells like turpentine. It looks like we both got bad noses because I didn't get any right. We hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes look at this week's episode. Thank you guys for watching and keep watching 1,000 Pound Sisters on TLC. I'm Tammy. And I'm Amy. Are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episode? And make sure you're all caught up with the new season of 1,000 Pound Sisters. We both have a lot on our plate this episode. So today we're gonna combine two of my favorite distractions, horror and arts and crafts. Hey y'all, it's Amy, and today I did this makeup look inspired by these beautiful nails. Every little bit. Hey y'all, happy Halloween. If you'd like to recreate this look, keep watching. Today, we're gonna show you how to do some simple special effects makeup at home. We got some fake props here. We got little elf ears. We got a witch nose and a witch uh, chin. chin. And then we got some demon eyes. First thing we need to do is teach y'all how to make some fake blood at home with stuff you already have. So what's the first ingredient, Tammy? Corn syrup. You put it on your head? Mm-hmm. I'm putting adhesive on it, so I'm making it tacky, and I'm gonna put this down on my hand. Hey, there goes my cup of corn syrup. It's Next so ingredient is a teaspoon of cocoa powder. Hey, you know what? This is kind of win-win for me too, because I like crafts and I like cooking. In this episode, on the visit to see Caleb, he set up a date for us. It didn't go quite well. Well, I'm over here, beautiful. Hey. And a kiss. Thank you. And a little bit of slop. <laughs> I love you. Love you. What would it be the perfect day for you? Personally. Well, no offense to Winsler, but it wouldn't have been there. <laughs> Facts. He wouldn't have been there. I, I mean, I'm simple. It could have been at the park, a picnic at the park. Yeah. I do appreciate it. He did what he could. What is your ideal date? Is it just watching horror movies? I don't or know. would you say going to like a haunted house or something like that? Because <laughs> you're kind of weird. Actually, right it won't be involved horror at all. I'm actually a hopeless romantic. I like ho hopeless romantic movies, cuddling on the couch with my man. What y'all didn't see is how many visitors we had on this date. Wait, what you mean by visitors? People kept interrupting. Ain't that a damn shame. Well, I, I mean... didn't go purposely, so I wouldn't interrupt you. Hey, y'all, what the hell are they doing? Oh, my bad. Okay. Hey. I totally didn't plan this. Not at all. Nobody knows this. <laughs> they ain't gonna be. Keith. Come on, man. Hurry up. You know we in the middle of something. Come on. I'm sorry. Oh. No, you ain't. Do you think it's harder to get privacy at a facility or t at home with my boys? I think it'll be harder at the facility because mm -hmm. you got more people there. Yeah. 
nurses coming in and out every two seconds almost. While you were gone, I asked man and Miss to come over and we kind of destroyed my wedding dress. So this is like a letting go thing? Kind of like the paint resembles the nail in the coffin. Okay. What do you think Michael will say about you destroying the dress? Who the cares? Come on, if y'all come and hail. Oh, well, we got a big target now. Oh my Ew. God! Are you all right? Yeah. Them extra glasses didn't help you none, did they? I told you they wouldn't have caused wreck. <laughs> Anything you want to say? Bye, bitch. <laughs> That looks tie-dyed now. Yeah, it does. I'd wear it. What well, felt better, messing up the dress or going to the right room? Right room. Definitely. I honestly think the dress looks better now than it did before, because now you can wear it for multiple different occasions, not just a wedding. All right, Kate, the last step is to add food coloring, bread food coloring, one drop at a time. I'm going to tell you, you need, like, at least five or six. I'll put this in one. Which way? This way. I got enough earrings, it'll block it out. Put a little hair over it. I'm all sticky, I can't. I got it. Help me with my other ear. Your other? My other ear. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. What I need to do is help you mix that. <laughs> Apparently. Here it is. Did you just try that? Yeah, I tried my zombie puss. What'd it taste like? Very don't overly ask, sweet. Don't even ask me to try it. My coagulated blood. That is so much more better. Ew, there's chunkies in it. <laughs> that's your coagulators. I guess so. No, that's skin bit. No, that's pus postules. Is that a word? <laughs> this thing that made me spin loose. Good thing you ain't working well. <laughs> In this episode, we all decided to burn some calories before we head down to the beach. I don't move like that no more. Who do you think is doing the best at the dancing? None of us. <laughs> None of us. If we would have came in at the right time and like figured out what the class was about, maybe like she, like the trader, we didn't know what we're doing. But I don't know. I think they put us in the advanced class, and we should have been at the uh, baby beginner class. What y'all didn't see is our ass is coming in ten minutes late. Our family really does good. We're very punctual people. For the most part. You know, there is this crazy old Miss Left, like me and Tammy can't drive, so we gotta find a uh, driver sometimes, and we're not there on time. Or we do sometimes oversleep. There are occasional times where we are late. I overslept this morning. <laughs> Amy, this was fun, but I think we all need a special effects. Do it for personals. So much better being a human again. You still look like an alien. Shut up, I'll throw, I'll throw this one you. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at the latest episode. Thank you guys for watching. And keep watching. 1,000 Pound Sisters, Sisters on TLC. Bye. Hey y'all, it's Amy. More energy. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Amy. And I'm Tammy. Are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episode? Make sure you're all caught up on the new season of 1,000 Pound Sisters. In this episode, we go to Florida for our family vacation. So today, Amy and I are gonna show y'all how to put together some snacks for your road trip. Or flight. Wherever you go. So we got some potato chips, we got some beef jerky, 
We got some assorted Big peanuts. Things. We got snack cakes. Boiled eggs, cheese, meat, and some carrots. Although some of these snacks aren't quite healthy, as long as you balance it with another snack that is, it should be all right. But you also have to weigh it all out. Portion control. Hey, you can keep these snacks in your purse. Your kid get hungry here, son. Here, daughter. In this episode, us sisters are going on a family shopping spree because we need some bikinis. Tammy, have you found anything trialing yet? No. We're going to find you something real skimpy. No, the heck we ain't. What you got? Go ahead. <laughs> OK. Now, picture it without the bra. And I'm going to wear the like cover. It. I don't give a damn, bitch. I'm the one wearing it. Look at you and your Picture it. You On the beach. Or the cocktail, a mocktail. No, I'm on vacation, bitch. I might have me a real cocktail. We all are so different, but yet alike. We have a different style. We have different tastes. So it is kind of hard to go shopping with your sisters because they are very opinionated. I have a question. What? How would you explain each of your sisters' style in bathing suits? Like, would you say... Misty's more of the grandma conservative one. Yes, yeah, she would be the more one piece type girl. You would do a stylish one, but modest stylish. If you get what I'm saying. Oh great, I'm a semi grandma. <laughs> Amanda. She would rock a two piece, but she would have to have a cover up. But like do you think a man would be more of the I was gonna say hoish. To dress more hoish, me. Uh, wearing a bikini or something. Me. <laughs> yeah, me. Well, I'm glad you admit it. Mando would do it, but she'll be covered up. You let your squirrel wings out. I don't care. I uh, don't know. You and Mando like wearing a uh, uh, thong some. That ain't wearing no damn thong. I'd rather have my granny jaws. <laughs> if I would have dental floss, I'd use it in my teeth, not my ass crack. I'd rather go commando. Out of all these food, what would your go-to be? Let me guess. Jerky? <laughs> no. No? Yeah, okay. And then you, cheese. Okay, and then, then you do that. What's your first choice? Be jerky and peanuts. Fair enough. You gotta cut yours, so you wanna go ahead and start cutting yours while I go ahead and start weighing my first one out? Okay. Okay, so I don't got beef jerky, so I need 28 grams of beef jerky. 28 grams is one serving size, which is equal to one ounce. There's my serving of that. Mine is two ounces which is 56 grams. Okay. My second one would be the nuts. This many nuts. <laughs> Back in the day before the surgery, I would have ate all that bowl of jerky and probably half the nuts. Weighing out the portion sizes is getting me back on track, you know, keeping me where I need to be, watching my proteins, watching my serving sizes. Stuff like that, that's good for me to do. I am being more aware of how much I can eat and put in my body to where my cutoff point is. Yeah. So I'm not like overdoing it. Yeah, true. Before we go to Florida, Brittany convinces Amy, Chris, and myself to get spray tans. Okay, face the back, arms out like a T, perfect. Well, I Am I a different color yet? She's so stupid. <laughs> look at that tail, mother <laughs> <laughs> Your face does look You're dark. looking like Miami Vice. I didn't know if I was going to get strip searched or spray tan. There's only a handful of people I want to see me naked. You don't have to be naked. You got to have nude underwear on, but... No, some of them don't. Mm. I wish the spray tanner was a hot man. That would have been even better. No, because it was used on the rest of us. 
I do go first. <laughs> I'm eating this bite. This one should be. Big. Oh, there we go. Perfect. You got more because it, because you. I ate some more. So in this episode, we all head to the beach. I think we all look good. Y'all got out there and fell. Y'all look like Shamu trying to get out of the water. Thanks. <laughs> That's what I felt like, too. <laughs> what would you do if we all drowned in the water? You ain't gonna save me, bitch. That's what lifeguards are for. That's okay. not my job. David, David Hafsahoff, where are you? <laughs> Pabula, where you at? <laughs> hey, Amanda has flotation devices. She's fine. Well, then grab one to them. Falling away with her. <laughs> so, uh, you want to talk about the little incident? <laughs> I was getting flo flipped and flopped and dreamed and dropped in, in the ocean and ended up having so much sand in my jaws. It looked like I had a sand turd. You poor thing. I know. Hey, look, y'all. I have a sand turd. Did you have to <laughs> I went to the water trying to get it out, but the water attacked me. Yeah, they were stuck it. between the mesh and my underwear. I've seen a <laughs> mess in my bathroom floor today. <laughs> I'm going to my turn. <laughs> we had to leave because it was just so hot. The boys was tired. Everybody was tired. You were overheating. It was time to go. I did pretty good, though, and I did it without my oxygen. Right. So now that we got our all of our snacks weighed out, this is what we got. I got one piece of jerky because I ate the other piece. Chips, the trail mix stuff, the peanuts, and the jerky. Tell me, what do you have over there? I got, I guess I went more healthy. I didn't really plan on it, but I did. But I got some mixed nuts, carrot. Cheese. <laughs> this has been Snacks and Facts with Avi and Debbie. We hope you like this behind the scenes look at the latest episode. Thank, Thank you guys for watching and keep, keep watching a thousand, thousand pound sisters, sisters on TLC. TLC. Hey y'all, it's Amy. It's Chris. Are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episode? Make sure you're all caught up with the new season of One Thousand Pound Sisters. Today, we're gonna press our luck and play some lucky cookies to see if our cookie will roll in the milk. Well, I think we got pickle juice, chocolate milk, orange juice, hot sauce, white milk, and soy. I really hope I land in that chocolate milk and not that hot sauce. I'm not particularly a fan of any of the options. <laughs> in this episode, we try some risky things on vacation. I go parasailing, and we pack the whole family on the boat. You really gonna do this? Seriously? Heck yeah. This is a once in a lifetime deal, baby. You guarantee him doing it. He's gonna go fulfill his dreams of being a flying squirrel. I'm telling you. Oh my God. Hell to the yeah, baby. Was it at least fun? I don't know I went there to see it, so. I mean, that's what you want to do. I was proud that you did it, but did you at least enjoy it? Man, that's the best seven minutes of the vacation. Up there in the middle of while you was parasailing, there were, it was just peaceful. Good wind, good, you know, it was a good breeze. You just had to look at the horizon because if you started looking down too much and try to focus on the ground, you'd get seasick. But it was still beautiful. I won't even do an airplane, so there ain't no way in hell you're gonna get me up in there, that, that little kite. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? You wanna go, you go first. You're older, you go first. There you go. That one ain't too bad, it's just milk and cookies. Yeah. 
I think you need to roll this one. Redo. Redo. Reese, roll this one. Okay, roll that one. Over there somewhere. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> she can't even roll. Oh, there we go. Chocolate milk. <laughs> I'm going for the soy sauce. There you go. Your wish is the cookies command. That is a salty, sweet wonder. In this episode, Chris cooks a seafood boil. That was a good catch. Here you go, Brittany. Ugh. All right, y'all, get in here. It's time to eat. Oh, my God. Seriously? We didn't oh, have a dinner bell. Can't get y'all's your attention by no way else. We heard you. We were moving. All right, y'all. There ain't no point in being in Florida without having some good seafood. Oh, my goodness. Wow. There's a big, fat lobster. A seafood boil is a perfect way to get a bite of everything. And the great thing about it is... It's customizable. With everybody in the family having surgery, I was thinking half pounds of everything that I bought, except the lobsters, because I just wanted two great big fat lobsters in it. I figured everybody eats five or six bites. Make a table full, everybody be able to eat real easy. How is it different from going like meat sales around here? Back home, I can't get a lobster straight out of the water. Wait. You know, and that was just the difference is we were there on the ocean or close to the water, you know, so why not enjoy what's ready, available all the time to the... To the locals. To the locals. And then just put your spin on the country cooking to it. Let me roll this one. There's your orange juice. That one ain't bad at all. No. That's like a walk in the park. I'm telling you, that's like, that's like cereal. Right. If you get the hot sauce, I'll eat it. I got the orange juice again. Mm. Well, you right. need to try, what is that on the end? Pickle juice. We'll get you some more here, take that cookie. Oh, I can do that one. Chocolate milk again. <laughs> I'm just do that one all day. <laughs> one of the things on my bucket list was going on a boat and seeing dolphins. Even though there weren't no dolphins, I still could check it off my bucket list. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome aboard Jolly Dolphin. I'm Captain Mike. I'll be driving y'all around today, trying to find some dolphins for you. In the meantime, just hang back, relax, and enjoy the scenery. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I can't wait to see the dolphins. I can't either. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness! Hey, I finally got in the water! <laughs> <laughs> it don't count, bitch. Too late, it does. Later, Misty. Turbulence. Turbulence? <laughs> what is sea turbulence? Sea turbulence? Yes. I guess this. <laughs> oh, they don't have a name for it? Yeah, waves, bitch. I wasn't nervous. I'm not. The waves didn't get rocky or nothing. I mean, it was... It was the same. It was kind of no worse than what we was used to riding in the river on a John boat. So it wasn't nothing serious, nothing drastic. But if we got stranded together, I'd play. Me and Brittany together. would get stuck. Well, Brittany would be a planner, Misty would be a planner. And then they got Amanda telling everybody what to do, and the rest of us, we either fall in line or get fighting. And I ain't even, even trying to do that today. I can float. The oldest three siblings can swim. The younger two can float like a barrel in the water, so they would survive. I don't know. We'd have to drag them along, though. Mm. <laughs> Last one, best one. Cheers. Cheers. Go. We both, oh, okay. I got you. We're trying. supposed to go in the same one. We hey, it. that means I don't have to eat it, right? We'll try another one, then. Why are you trying to get hot sauce? I don't know. We're going to find out what it is. Ew. I'll eat my milk. I'll stick with the milk. That's hot. <laughs> the sriracha. But it ain't bad with that cookie. The sweetness of the cookie I chills did. it out pretty good. I could definitely... 
<laughs> Take a drink for me. I would rather have the soy sauce and the cookie instead of any any of the rest of them. The, the sriracha is a little out of my league for Where the heat. Are you pregnant? No. Sounds like. Oh it. yeah, really? You're the one coming across with some. <laughs> what was it? Pumpkin pie spice and Pick pickles. <laughs> Talk about pregnant. We hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at the latest episodes. Thank you for watching, and make sure y'all are all caught up with the new season of A Thousand Pound Sisters on TLC.